The Bible says to prepare slaughter. Slaughter, meaning mass murder. Right. Mass genocide for who? For his children. For his children. That's right. Whose children going to be slaughtered? <laughs> the same children of those that brought us over here on slave ships. Right. The same ones that put us on auction blocks. The same ones that put us in the government housing. The same ones that hire us last and fire us first. Right. The Bible says prepare slaughter for his children. Read. For the iniquity of their fathers. But so many times our people want to say, but it won't them that did it. That was their ancestors that did it. Right. Ain't that what they say? It won't them that did it. It was their ancestors. Or those people will say it wasn't us that did it. It was our ancestors that did it. Right. But what does the Bible say about your judgment for your ancestors? Read that again. Prepare slaughter. The Bible says you got to die for what your ancestors did to us. That's right. God is upset with your people for what they did to us. Right. Read on. For his children. Uh -huh. For the iniquity of their fathers. So everything this, this so-called white man did to us, the Bible says that his children must be killed. Right. When Christ come back, all the white people that's here in America got to be put to death. That's right. For all the evil that they did to our people. Our God is a righteous God. You think, they gonna, you think our Father in heaven is going to let them get away with all the evil they did to our people? All the evil they did to Emmett Till? For chasing down Amar Aubrey for going for a jog in his own neighborhood? Teach! Give me Zechariah. Was I finished with that? Yes, sir. Finish that up. That they do not rise nor possess the land. The Bible says that this so-called white man in America will never rise or possess this land ever again. Right. So go ahead and send your prayers up. God bless America. No, God destroy America. Right. God will destroy this place with thermal nuclear weapons. Right. Read on. Nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. You will never fill the face of this earth ever again with cities. Right. The last empire you will ever rule in is the United States of America. And when America is destroyed, your people are going in slavery for a thousand years. That's, right. That's what the Bible said. Give me Zechariah 11 and 7. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 7. And I will feed the flock of slaughter we are the flock of slaughter. Read on. Even you, O poor of the flock, uh -huh. and I will took unto me two staves. You know what the other one I wanted? Y yes, sir. Read that. Uh, Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. The Bible says that our possessors, Sister Naisha, who possessed the so-called black man when we came here in 1619? Bring it up. White people possessed us. Right. The Bible says, even though we out of slavery right now, whose possessors do what? Whose possessors slay them. The Bible says our possessors, this man right here, that brought us over here in chains, does what? Whose possessors slay them. He still kills us even to this day. Even to this day, he's still putting us down. Right. We, get, we still getting knees on our neck. Right. We still getting gunned down in the streets by our possessor. Right. Read them. And hold themselves not guilty. And they hold themselves not guilty. And as soon as we speak on it, who shows up? Their own personal bodyguards. Their own personal bodyguards to tell us to pack it up and go home. Read them. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. They that sell them, what did they do to us when we got off of those ships? They sold us. And they said what? Bless what? Blessed be the Lord. They said, blessed be the Lord. They said, blessed be the Lord. They gave praises to their God for us going in the chains. Read them. For I am rich. For they are rich. And their own shepherds. And our own shepherds. Who are our shepherds? If we the sheep, the shepherd does what to the sheep? Take care of the sheep, leads the sheep. So who would our shepherds be? Right now in 2023, who would be leading us right now of our own people? No, 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 of our own people, men on earth. Who, which men lead us on this earth? She say nobody, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm thinking nobody too. It's supposed, the, the people in these churches right here. Right. 
the pastors in these churches. Right. These are our shepherds, the so-called entertainers, the people that they set up as leaders of our community. Right. That's right. Who do they set up as leaders of the black community? Singers, rappers, entertainers, politicians, and Christian pastors. Right. But the Bible says, what about the shepherds? And their own shepherds uh -huh. pity them not. The Bible says the people that are supposed to lead our people, don't worry about that, B. Y'all protected by the word of the Lord. That's right. All right. Look at it. He gone already. He gone already. Get the end of that verse one more time. And their own shepherds. The Bible says our own shepherds, the people that are supposed to lead us, the people that they set up to lead us, do what? Pity them not. They don't even pity us. Right. Meaning they don't care about us. Right. They get paid to keep us in a lower state. Right. Why do you think they exalt a sister like Nicki Minaj? Why would they exalt a sister like uh, Cardi B? Right. Used to be a stripper. Right. Why would they exalt a sister like Megan Thee Stallion? They make all type of songs about shaking her hind parts and selling her private parts. Right. Why would they set that up? They set those things up to keep our women in a lower state. Right. Why is it for our men that your role model is a drug dealer? Jay-Z, Lil Dirt, Lil Yachty, Lil this, Lil that. Why everybody gotta be little? Cause they don't want you to be a real man. Right. When was the last time one of your leaders' names start with big? Call me big host next time. Don't call me little host. Call me Big Daddy. Call me Big Yachty. Call me Big Big whatever. I ain't, I ain't little nothing. But they don't want you to rise up to be a man. They want to keep you in a little or lower state. That's their job. Finish up the end of that verse. And their own shepherds, our own shepherds, our own leaders in our own community, pity them not. Pity us not. Where's Black Lives Matter when our own brothers are getting gunned down in the streets. They only want to rise up when a police officer kills an unarmed black man. Look, we ain't got no issue with the police officers. We want to make his job easier. Right. We teaching our people, thou shalt not kill. Right. My brother right here, if, if we teach thou shalt not kill, doesn't that make your job easier? That's one less 187 that he got to respond to. That's right. This is what the Bible says, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. This is what the Bible says. We, got, we want no smoke with the police officers. We want no smoke with the police officers. The people we want smoke with are the people that's destroying our communities. And who is that? That's the drug dealers. Who is that? That's the baby daddies. Who is that? That's the baby mamas. How are our communities being destroyed? Because God's laws are not being applied. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Let every soul. The Bible says let every soul be what? Be subject unto the higher powers. Be subject unto the higher powers. That means whatever this officer says do, guess what? We're going to do. If the officer say pack it up, we're going to pack it up. If the officer say put the speaker down, we're going to put the speaker down. But we're going to keep teaching. Right. Read on. For there is no power but of God. There's no power but of God. So when he had, when, when the rulers of this society set up a law that says, thou shalt not kill, who really set up a law that says thou shalt not kill? God did it. God did it. If the rulers of this society set up child support for a man to take care of his children, even if the relationship is broken, who really set up this, the institution of child support? God did. Right. Because so many of our own brothers aren't man enough to, to get their woman in check Teach. and take care of their wife and children. Teach. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
is born 